when it came to alligator lightning, our sole purpose in life was to board the Tonnerre, uh, get familiar with uh, the French in general, see how they work on a day-to-day -day basis, kind of coordinated with them. Especially since we were working off their vessel, we needed to understand their logistics, how they set up the birds. In order to be successful, I have to intimately understand what they do, and they have to intimately understand what we do. And then went ship to shore from the Tonnerre to uh, a training area, conducted a raid. We had, uh, I believe, foreign air controllers from the, from the French birds, from French aircraft, as well as we had our own American JTACs, Joint Terminal Attack Controllers, that were controlling aircraft, both with deconfliction of airspace and with proper landing inside the, the landing zone. So we had French aircraft, we had US aircraft working out here, and we're just trying to see how the different countries operate as far as techniques for controlling aircraft and uh, bringing them in for close air support. You had French guys talking to American aircraft, American guys talking to French aircraft, so it was a good mix of different perspectives on how we do things. So that training with coalition forces, I think it went very well. We are here to join, to participate to the uh, alligator lighting operations. It was a very good exchange. Uh, we really appreciate to work with a real specialist and a professional. It was a very good day. We got a lot of assets, no specific issues, so it was a very good day for us. And there's always something to learn uh, when you get the two sides together. So Alligator Lightning was a joint level operation, basically culminating in, at the tactical level, a platoon level raid operation in order to grab uh, an HVI, high value individual target from an objective, and then conduct a speedy withdrawal off the objective. Miller, push your team it's important to operate with the joint forces because we've proven in the past that it allows us the most versatility, allows us the most uh, the most support, and as part of the Special Purpose MAGTAF, Crash Response and CENTCOM, we constantly operate under joint forces. I think it went very smoothly.